Hi, in this video tutorial, let us solve one problem of projection of solid uh, that is square prism. A uh, square prism 35 mm side of base and a 60 mm uh, axis length rest on HP on one of its corner of the base uh, such that two base edges containing the corner on which it rests make equal inclinations with HP. Draw the projections of the prism when the axis of the prism is inclined to HP at 40 degree and to VP at 30 degree. Okay, here the type of prism is square prism. The dimension is given that is 35 into 35 into 16. Uh, it is resting on HP. Therefore, we're going to draw the top view first. Uh, and one more condition is it is resting with one of its corner, the okay, corner towards right. Okay, for second stage, we need the theta angle that is 40 degree. For third stage, we need psi angle that is inclination with respect to VP that is also given 30 degree. Okay, since in this problem, axis makes an inclination, okay, this is beta angle problem. Okay, let us solve this problem. Go to line command, continuous line, thickness 0 0.13 mm. Okay, draw x, y line. Okay, now name this. Go to text option. Okay, here I'm going to choose times new Roman and 3.50 mm. Yeah, x, y, above x, y line will be having VP, below x, y line will be having HP. Okay, square prism. Okay, it is resting with one of its corner. Okay, we first we uh, the top view of is like a square. Therefore, I'm going to construct a uh, square first. For that, go to application, macros, run macros, inside polygon, open. Uh, the flat length here, the dimension is uh, 35 mm. Uh, number of side is 4 minimize this okay, click somewhere on the sheet okay since this problem or the condition is that is resting with one of its corner keep the corner towards your right okay select the entire square or uh, change the thickness to 0 0.50 mm okay, now go to rotate option choose any one corner as a fixed point and opposite corner as a mobile point and rotate okay, now Select this uh, the square and move wherever you want. Okay, switch off the copy command. Okay, and we need the center point also to draw the axis. Okay, in order to get the center points, draw the diagonals. And now name this. Next option. Okay, I'm going to name A, B, C, D. Uh, stop surface even b1 c1 d1 as the the lower surface okay when we view this square prism to the top side uh, a is visible a1 is invisible similarly this is b is visible b1 invisible c is visible c1 invisible b is visible d1 is invisible you now draw the projection line to get the front view from corner A to the XY line, from corner D to the XY line, from corner C to the XY line. And now the front view appears like a rectangle. Go to like command, change the thickness to 0 0.50 mm. The axis length is uh, 60 mm. Okay, from end point of this, the length is uh, 60 mm. Enter. The angle should be 90 degree. Okay, here use split line. From here to here. Then till uh, the first projection line. Or join that line to the end point of first projection line. From first projection line to the second projection line, from second projection line to third projection line. Okay, here also it will look like a line only join in point of second projection line till the top surface. Okay. If you want, you can show the dimension. The axis length is 60 mm and uh, the dimension of square prism is 35 mm. Okay, now naming. See if you view this uh, square prism from the front side. It is A is visible and A1 is also visible. Therefore, this is A dash. This is A1 dash. Okay, here B is visible, whereas D is not visible. Therefore, P dash in bracket D dash. And O is also not visible, O dash. Okay, this point is uh, 
O in bracket O1. Here also B1 is visible, B1 dash, D1 dash, it is not visible, O1 also not visible. Okay, here C is visible, C dash, yeah, C1 is also visible, C1 dash. And okay, now stage two, yes, for stage two, it is given it is inclined to HP at angle of 40 degree. Select the front view of stage one. Go to move option. Select corner A. Place it somewhere on the XY line. Okay. Select the front view of stage one. Go to move option. Switch on the copy command. Select corner A. Place it somewhere on the XY line. Now go to rotate option. First select the fixed point that is A dash. The mobile one is a C1 dash. Okay, the rotation angle is 90 minus theta. That is 90 minus 40 is 50. Enter. Now choose the direction. Switch on the copy command. Okay, now in order to get the front view, we have to draw the uh, projection lines. Okay, zoom that area. Go to line. Okay, I'll start from uh, A1. Okay, this is uh, A1, next B1 to B1, okay, this is B1, next D1 to D1, this is D1, next C1 to C1, Okay, this point is C1. Similarly, from the top surface, okay, this is point A. Next, from B to B, okay, this is B. Next, D to D. Okay, this is D, next C to C. Okay, this is point C. Okay, now first connect all the boundary point by using visible line. Okay, I'll start from A, A to B, B to B1, B1 to C1, C1 to D1, D1 to C1 to D1, D1 to D, D to A. Okay, if you view this, uh, the front view from the top side, the upper surface that is ABCD is completely visible. Therefore, connect by using visible line. That is C to D and B to C. Okay, the lower surface is away from the viewer. It is not visible. Connect by using dash lines. Okay, D1 to A1, A1 to B1. Okay, here... C to C1. Okay, C to C1 is the nearest to the viewer. Okay, connect by using a continuous line. C to C1. Similarly, A and A1 is away from the viewer. Connect by using dash line. A1 to A. Okay, we need that uh, O and O1 also to get uh, the beta angle. Okay, this is O1 and this is O. Okay, measure the upper end length. Go to distance between option, the upper end length, that is the distance between O and O1 in stage 2 is 45.96. Okay, now, second stage is over. The third stage, okay, psi angle is given, that is 30 degree. First, I'm going to draw one line, okay, which is uh, parallel to an XY line. From that line, I'm going to draw one line, which makes an angle of uh, 30 degree. This should be 30. Okay, now we have to determine the beta angle for that go to R by center point. I choose one reference point. Okay, from the reference point, cut an arc by taking uh, true length as a radius, that is 60 mm axis length. Cut an arc on that VP line. 
Okay, now from that intersection point, we have to draw one locus line. Again, go to or by center point method. Okay, by using the same reference point, we have to cut one more arc by taking upper end length as a radius. Upper end length is 40.96. Enter, cut an arc on the locus line. Okay, now join this intersection point to the reference point. Now extend this line. Now measure the angle. Okay, the angle is 41 degree, that is beta angle. Okay, now on this line, we have to place Okay, this is uh, the top view of stage 2. Okay, select the entire diagram from stage 2. Go to move option. Okay, select the point O. Okay, switch on the copy command. First place O on the intersection point. You should get that intersection symbol. Okay, now you have to rotate. Go to rotate option. Zoom that area. First select O as uh, the fixed point. Opposite corner as mobile point. To place it on the PP line. And now in order to get the front view, draw the projection lines. Zoom this area. Go to line, continuous line. 0.13 mm. I'll start from A. This is uh, A dash. Next, B to B. B dash next C to C this is uh, C dash next D to D this is D dash next A one to A one This is uh, A1 dash. Next, B1 to B1. Okay, this is B1. Okay, this is uh, B1 dash. Next, C1 to C1. Okay, this is uh, C1 dash, next D1 to D1. D1 dash. Okay, now connect all the boundary point by using uh, visible line. Okay, I'll start from uh, A1 dash, A1 dash to B1 dash, B1 dash to C1 dash, C1 dash to C dash, C dash to D dash. Okay, C dash to A dash. A dash to A1 dash. Okay. Now, if you view this, uh, the top view from the front side, okay, this is the nearest to the viewer. That is A1, B1, C1, D1. It is completely visible. Join by using uh, the visible line or thick line. That is A1 dash to D1 dash. D1 dash to C1 dash. Okay, the upper surface that is ABCD is not visible. Join by using the dashed line. Okay, A1 dash to B dash, B dash to C dash. Okay, here you can join directly. That is output from both the dashed line is always uh, dashed line. That is from uh, B1 dash to B dash or we can analyze here also. Okay, B and B1 is away from the viewer. That is not visible. Therefore, connect by using dashed line. 
okay here uh, the output of uh, both visible line is always a visible line that is here from d1 to d is visible line okay here also you can see d and d1 is the nearest to the viewer that is visible okay if you want you can show that uh, o1 also that is the axis line okay this is stage one stage two stage three thank you